In the heart of a bustling medieval city, there lived a young scholar named Elias. He possessed an insatiable thirst for knowledge that led him to study under the finest tutors and seek wisdom from every corner of the world. Elias spent his days engrossed in ancient texts, conducting daring experiments, and engaging in spirited debates with other scholars. His fame spread far and wide, and soon he became known as the brightest mind in the land. One day, as Elias perused an old tome in his study, he stumbled upon a reference to a legendary library hidden atop the treacherous Mount Ethelon. It was said that this library contained the accumulated wisdom of ages. Knowledge that had been kept secret for generations. The idea of uncovering such forbidden knowledge consumed Elias. And he resolved to embark on a perilous journey to find the library. Equipped with provisions, maps, and a heart full of curiosity, Elias set out on his adventure. The path to Mount Ethelon was rugged and fraught with dangers. He traversed dense forests, crossed raging rivers, and climbed steep cliffs. At every step, Elias encountered obstacles that tested his determination and wit. Yet, he pressed on, driven by his relentless desire for the forbidden wisdom. After weeks of arduous travel, Elias finally reached the summit of Mount Ethelon. Amidst the swirling mist, he found the hidden entrance to the legendary library. As he stepped inside, he was greeted by towering shelves stacked with scrolls, books, and artifacts of immense historical significance. Elias felt a surge of excitement course through him as he began to explore the treasures before him. Days turned into weeks as Elias delved deeper into the library's contents. He learned secrets about the universe, the origins of civilizations, and the nature of existence itself. But with each discovery, he also felt a growing sense of unease. The knowledge he gained was not without its consequences. It revealed the hubris of ancient rulers, the follies of those who sought power, and the tragedies caused by unchecked ambition. One evening, as Elias read a particularly poignant account of a once great kingdom brought to ruin by its own arrogance, he was interrupted by a faint, ethereal voice. Elias, the voice whispered, You have sought knowledge with fervor. But have you gained wisdom? Quote. Elias looked around, puzzled. Who speaks? He asked. I am the guardian of this library, the voice replied. You have shown great determination. But have you considered the price of your quest? Quote. Elias reflected on his journey. On the arrogance he had displayed. And the toll it had taken on his humility. He realized that he had become so consumed by his pursuit of knowledge that he had lost sight of. The virtues that truly mattered. The humility that had once guided him had been overshadowed by his desire to prove himself as the greatest scholar. With a heavy heart, Elias confessed, I see now that I have erred. In my pursuit of knowledge, I neglected the very essence of humility. I thought I could conquer wisdom. But I see that true wisdom lies in understanding one's limitations and respecting the lessons of the past. The voice spoke once more. Its tone softer now. You have learned a valuable lesson. Elias, knowledge is a gift, but it must be tempered with humility to be truly meaningful. Remember that the greatest teacher is not arrogance, but the willingness to learn from all sources, even when they challenge your beliefs. With those words, the library began to shimmer and fade its secrets returning to the Mishti ether from whence they came. Elias descended Mount Ethelon, forever changed by his journey. He returned to the city with a new purpose, to share his experiences. Not as a boastful scholar, but as a humble seeker of wisdom. Elias spent the remainder of his life guiding others on their paths to knowledge. Emphasizing the importance of humility in the pursuit of understanding.
His story became a timeless reminder that in the vast expanse of knowledge, it is humility that opens the doors to true enlightenment, allowing us to learn not only from the brilliance of our minds but also from the depths of our hearts.